All right, Jason, also cheating the children. It's not Detroit, it's not principals, but there is school money missing again. And it tops Local 4 News tonight at 6. This time the theft is from school children happened in the suburbs in West Bloomfield. And you're about to hear from the person who figured out what was going on and blew the whistle. Let's get to our business editor, Rod Maloney. He joins us live from West Bloomfield tonight with the latest. First of all, Rod, who's under arrest? Uh, it is the, the treasurer for the Pleasant Lake PTA in the Wald Lake School District. And we're not talking a small amount of money here. We're talking $6,000 that left a lot of the parents worried about the year-end activities. 36-year-old Tanita Wirtz Baker volunteered as Pleasant Lake PTA treasurer for the past two years. She's now pled not guilty to one count of embezzlement from a nonprofit. She has two children who attend Pleasant Lake Elementary, nestled so serenely in the woods off of Halstead in West Bloomfield. It was Pleasant Lake PTA President Sharon Gallatin who first picked up on some shaky bookkeeping back in April. We found out that we were low on funds in our PTA account and our reporting that we were getting monthly um, had errors in it. She sharpened her pencil and discovered thousands were missing and the accounts nearly depleted. Fifth grade graduation, we have a family movie night, um, science night, lots of activities for the kids that um, the PTA helps out with. We buy school supplies for the teachers. She went straight to the police who served seven search warrants on the PTA's bank. Deputy Chief Kurt Lawson says detectives discovered what Wirtz Baker did with the cash. It was in fact used for her own personal use for her debt. And she had a lot of debt and uh, you know, electric bills, car bills, insurance bills, and, and that's where that money went to. I was more frustrated and disappointed. I don't know if anger is the right word. Um, I was concerned and I was worried that we wouldn't be able to do what we needed to do for the kids. Now, the Walleye School District says it is fully cooperating with the police and with prosecutors. They're also going back over their procedures for making sure that this kind of thing doesn't happen again in its PTA programs or anywhere else in the district. And uh, in the meantime, uh, the police department is continuing its investigation into this. Back to you. Rod, did uh, officers tell you what kind of jail time might come with a conviction in a case like this? Yes, because the PTA is a nonprofit, the penalties go up. So this, mm -hmm. this treasurer right now is facing the possibility of 10 years in prison. Why? All right. Our Rod Maloney reporting for us live.